Meet Sam. Sam's two, and he's a good little eater. He's full of energy, but he's already eaten too much sugar, and the warning signs are there. Here's Sam, at 12. He loves his food and his football, but he's eaten twice the daily recommended amount of sugar, so he's finding it hard to concentrate in class, and his pancreas is working harder than it should. Now Sam is 22. He still loves a game of five-a-side football, but he also likes a pint. And his low-fat ready meals are packed with hidden sugar, so he's putting on a bit of weight. Let's see Sam at 32. Family life is busy and work is demanding. The snack drawer is tempting and Sam's heart is showing the strain. Forward to 42. Sam decides to lose some weight and cut back on Friday takeaways. But a shocking diagnosis of type 2 diabetes changes everything. Here's Sam at 52. Daily medication keeps his diabetes in check, but long days on the road mean that Sam is making poor food choices. And the doctor's concerned about Sam's cholesterol levels. Let's see Sam at 62. He's a granddad now, but also a bowel cancer patient. It's one of the most common cancers in the UK and is more common in people who are overweight or obese. But the good news is that Sam's cancer has been caught early, giving him a fresh chance to create a healthy future for himself and for the next generation. And it all starts with what they eat.